Okay, so yeah, second place there. Yeah. Looked like you sort of had the same game plan as last week. Or yeah. Like how'd it go? I just, you know, was playing to be patient, be patient, and, like you know, kick again. It was, it was kind of all over the place, like pacing wise and place, and so I was just like, you know, be in top five at the bell and know that you got like three or four solid gears um, and you know took the lead with 200 to go well got on the shoulder of the leader with 200 to go and then really went for it and unfortunately I was you know just nip like not nip but passed by one guy so you know I gave everything I had like I have no regrets fortunately I'm in another kind of slowish tactical-ish mile so wasn't that fast so one of these days I'll be able to show, showcase my fitness but until then I'm just learning how to race how fast do you think you can go right I mean, you know, what they, one big mindset change this year is I really just got back to being a competitor and really like, all right, I'm going to try to win this race. I'm going to try to compete for the win and let everything else happen. So, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm in better shape than last year. I ran 336, which is like 352, 353 mile, I believe. So I think I'm right around there for a full mile. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, I haven't gotten to showcase that yet. So. And your position, I mean, was, well, almost everyone was in it at the bell. Like, were you happy with the way you were position-wise? Kind of. I was a little box. I went out to lane three on the back stretch. And, yeah, I mean, I was just, you know, like, it's like one of those races where, you know, position... When it's, you know, that's, that you know, we were like, what, 303 minutes at the bell, 301, yeah. something like that, like... Position isn't as important, like, it's just more like, like, I mean, position is the most important thing, like, it wasn't that fast, but I think that, you know, like, I was a little bit boxed in, so I kind of had to, like, two-step a little bit, and, um, but once I got, once I got open, it felt good, until about 50 meters to go, so, yeah. I mean, those guys are the best in the world, so, like, the fact that I can get second, I mean, Luke Matthews got a bronze medal at Com Games. Like, he probably should be out kicking me, you know? Like, he probably should. And so, like, I know that I belong on this level and I'm a very good runner. And that's what I take away from it is that I can compete with anyone right now. Um, and, you know, I've, I've had lots of race practice this year. And so I think that's just going to be the best thing for me going forward is not the times. It's just really learning to race these guys and when to make moves, when to hold back. All that stuff is just kind of practice for me for the future. Right. I mean, for your development, do you feel like it was almost better for you to be in this race versus Mount Mile, which could be like 348? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys can feel it, but on that back stretch, it is windy. Like, yeah. it's it's it was like significant enough where I think no one wanted to really go with the rabbit. And like, I mean, I would love to be in the Bowerman Mile just because it's the Bowerman Mile, but I think I'd rather be in this competing for the win like I was. And I think I gained so much more than that than going to right to the back and maybe running a 353, 354 mile, but really just kind of, you know, time trialing and not racing. Racing's what I need, and that's what I did today. So, yep. Thank you. Yeah.